2008 unibody MacBook DVD super drive replacement. Make sure that the MacBook is shut down and let's start off by flipping it over. Press in the battery cover latch and remove the panel. Next remove the battery. There are 8 screws that are holding in the bottom case panel. We'll start off by removing the top 4 screws. The first screw is the short screw and the next 3 screws are long screws. On the bottom of the panel there are 4 distinctly small screws. Let's go ahead and remove those and that will release the bottom panel. Once the 8 screws have been removed that are holding down the panel, gently grip it up in the top and remove it out of the way. The DVD Super Drive is located in the top left corner of the MacBook. Let's go ahead and disconnect some cables around the drive. Let's begin by disconnecting the EyeSight and Airport card cables. Next. Let's disconnect the speaker cable. Now remove the two Phillips head screws that are holding down the left speaker. Also just pry the speaker out of the way, leaving the screws inside. Next let's remove the speaker bracket. It's being held down with two Phillips head screws. One of the Phillips head screws is attached to the EyeSight and Airport cable. Let's go ahead and just pry that screw out. Move that out of the way. The actual super drive is being held in with three Phillips head screws. Let's get those screws out of the way. Unplug the super drive ribbon cable that connects it to the logic board. Now that the super drive is free, you can tilt it and gently lift it out of its socket. Take your replacement super drive and insert it at a 45 degree angle into its socket. Connect the super drive's ribbon cable to the logic board and now you can proceed to screw in the three Phillips head screws that secure the drive in place. Make sure to clip back in any connections that came loose during this installation. Reinstall the speaker bracket with two Phillips head screws. Now reattach the speaker and also screw it in with two Phillips head screws. Reconnect the EyeSight and Airport peripherals cable, taking your time and making sure that it is firmly locked into its socket. Now clip in the left speaker into its socket and you're done for the DVD Super Drive reinstallation. Place the bottom case panel in the same manner that it was removed, gently pressing down on it making sure that no cable connections are being pinched off. Reinstall the top 4 screws, starting with the shorter top left screw and next the 3 longer screws. Now reinstall the four smaller bottom screws for the panel. This will finish attaching the panel. Place the battery back into its socket. Now place the battery cover on top. 
Make sure to use the battery cover latch to firmly lock it in place.